Yeah. So tonight I thought I'd talk about two particular shows. Two shows that are both similar, but are both in the same way completely different. They both follow the same sort of formula, but have subtle differences in their characters and their plot setups. This isn't going to be a kind of verdict on which is the better series. I mean, I, I personally don't have enough data to make a call on that. And it's ultimately up to you which series you prefer. The two series I have to compare, Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Smallville. Let's take a look at Buffy first. Buffy the Vampire Slayer ran for seven seasons from 1997 until 2003, whilst also spinning, also having a spin-off show, Angel, which ran for five seasons, once again ending in 2003. Yeah, it focused on, Buff, on Buffy Summers, a character played by Sarah Michelle Gellar, as she kind of ventures through high school also having to get a fight off vampires in her alt in her alternate night life of being a vampire slayer. She's assisted by her watcher, Rupert Giles, played by Anthony Stewart Heads, and while she does pick up a couple more friends along the way, the two main ones who always stick by her are Xander Harris, played by Nicholas Brendan, and Willow Rosenberg, played by Alison Hannigan. Now now take a look at Smallville. Smallville was went slightly longer than Buffy did. They managed to get 10 seasons from 2001 until 2011. It also had a main lead with kind of supernatural kind of abnormal abilities. Only this one was Clark Kent, played by Tom Welling, who, unlike Buffy, who was always sort of grounded in reality, I, she may have had supernatural abilities, but she was still human. Clark is technically an alien. While he doesn't have a Giles figure as such, he does have two friends, a boy and a girl, who do, who he does help out. This being in the form of Pete Ross and Chloe Sullivan, played by Alison Mack. Both can follow the kind of same sort of pathways. A the 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 hero and their two friends kind of helping them out, and with some type of monster or dilemma coming up every week that they have to deal with. With Buffy, it was more to do with the fa fact during the first series that they were living on the Hellmouth. And that each... And kind of with Smallville, it kind of followed that same pattern. That since uh, Clark had arrived, fragments of his meteor, the meteors that he arrived in, had gone over town and subsequently created many other problems that they were going to have to solve. So both kind of follow the same sort of pathway. The first difference that you can really look at is kind of how they dealt with their main protagonists and more, more importantly their friends. With Buffy, while she probably would have wanted to keep it quiet, her friends do kind of find out fairly quickly. Buffy has to save them from the vampires, and ultimately they do come close to them. With Clark, it was more that he won. He had been warned by his kind of family to kind of keep the, keep it secret, and he did so for as long as he could. But gradually, people do begin to find out, kind of one after the other. Pete, I believe, was the first one to find out, and later on, Chloe does, and then later on, his. Uh, is love interest Lana finds out. Yeah. That's another key difference. The love interest. I mean, you could argue that they're kind of like opposites. I mean, with Buffy, she was seemed to be a fairly normal girl, or what you might call normal, and it was her love interest who were, well, her first love interest who was the abnormal one. That being Angel, played by David Bodianus, who who turns out to be a vampire. Yeah, I know she did go on to get other kind of love interests like Riley, who's human, and Spike, who of course was a vampire. But yeah, the thing is, Buffy was normal, and aside from one of her love interests, the the, the love interests were abnormal. With Smallville, it was the opposite way around. Clark is the abnormal one. You being the alien with various abilities that he's developing over time, and it's his love interests who are 
fully human and are kept grounded. So, yeah, the, so as you can see, just from the brief points I have given, both shows kind of did, were, were kind of similar. I mean, both deal with kind of like monster or problem of the week and had the trios, or and sometimes further expanding, uh, have the kind of teams trying to figure out the problem. So it, it's up to you, really, which series you prefer. I mean, I've I've personally seen five of the seven Buffy series and one of the Smallville series, so I personally can't call it at this point. But, yeah, both were kind of similar series with a similar premise that ran at... Yeah, that kind of ran parallel. I mean... Well, no, not ran parallel. It kind of went one after the other. Like, Smallville was starting just as Buffy was finishing. Yeah, fair, fair enough. And both... Both have their charms. So it's up to you. Just decide which is which series is your favourite, personally. Feel free to leave it down below. Hmm. There you go. See ya.